We are uh, continuing our satisfactory playthrough today. Um, last night I got a call that apparently at my church job, two of the people there uh, had COVID. So I'm hoping I wasn't exposed if I was. Well, I pretty much live alone and don't interact with any other people except you all through the internet. So hopefully uh, hopefully that didn't spread too much around and the people who got are doing okay. But uh, I'm excited to hang out, chill out. We had a good day of FTO yesterday with only a little bit of salt. And today we're going to have even less salt as uh, we work on satisfactory stuff. So uh, on Tuesday we got our train going, so we should be able to see our... Where's our train track? Get a view of our train going back and forth. And you can see the tracks going there. I probably already have a train that's completely filled with steel that can't go anywhere else. Uh, but we used that steel to already increase our steel beam production, so... Um, I did one thing last night. I did do a little bit off stream, not much, but I went out, I spent about an hour going around looking for hard drives for alternate recipes. So, um, I have, how many hard drives do I have? I have six. I think I had one go last night and one's being analyzed right now. So we have, we have some hard drives. Hopefully get some alternate recipes. I'm feeling like we're going to need some either rubber or plastic um, uh, upgrades, uh, possibly today. So let's head back up to the eighth floor because we are working on getting our phase three stuff done today. What about the station? Uh, talking about the train station? It's 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 good. We'll we'll go check it out in a bit. I can't I can't see it from up here because the train station is literally underneath our factory. So even if I went over to this floor. Uh, pretty sure eh, we can kind of see it Our station is basically a station with a couple of storage containers out and our steel is backed up because we're not using the steel fast enough but uh, currently uh, We have we have a just steel coming in on the train. I'll probably get more iron and copper as we need it that way, too Your dual wielding satisfactory day watching and playing hope my build today goes better than yours is oh, it's good to see a factoid Sorry to hear it's not going well uh, so we'll be making 15 versatile frameworks a minute. So last time we got steel beams going. Um, one of the, uh, I did just get an alternate recipe for one, one of my ma'am, the recipe, alternate recipe I did get last night as I was doing things was, I think, I think it was a separate smart plating recipe. So the one we have is reinforced iron plates and rotors. That makes two a minute. I think I might have a couple of alternate recipes for that now. Uh, maybe just one. Plastic smart plating. Okay. Reinforced iron plates, rotors, and plastic. Yeah, okay. So this is similar to what we're doing with this guy. This guy, we added rubber to the build to get more versatile frameworks a minute. This one only gets two a minute. But this guy gets five a minute. By throwing plastic in the mix. So I'm probably going to use this alternate recipe we did. So that's good. Uh, Alright, let's see what the... Uh, what we got here. We got coated iron plates, automated miner, fused wiring. Wow, I feel like I'm not getting any of the oil ones. I, I really want the... I think there's one that's just... Heavy oil straight from crude oil. So, um, of these guys... Bacterium plus... Copper equals 90 wire a minute. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Do you believe you can't beat the smart plating default recipe? Really? The one with plastic seemed even better to me. It was faster and used fewer materials except you add plastic. Your problems are self-inflicted. You're building an ammo factory in the dumbest way possible in tiny compact pods. Hang off a central post in the middle of a lake. Breaking all the rules of good factory design, but it's going to look cool. But it uses plastic. Yeah. I mean, I'm currently not using any plastic in any of my builds, so maybe I'll change my mind later. But for now, since I'm not using plastic, I kind of want to use that. Um, okay, so this is going to be an extra 60 rubber per minute. I'm going to go ahead and just set up the rubber now. Even though I'm going to need to get more rubber eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the rubber up here. So, I'm going to bring rubber from... I'm going to have rubber be third position, so that would be along this. 
So rubber would be, I would want to split it right here. There. Okay. Except I want it to be higher than that, but that'll let me uh, know where that's going. My modular frames, I'm going to have to upgrade my modular frame production before I get that going. So that's why I'm not doing that one. I'll do that one probably last. Alright, looks like I could do it right here and we'd be good. Alright, so this is going to be... I need to bring up rubber right here. So let me get a mark. Probably mark three, but let me see what... How much rubber? It's only going to be 60 rubber a minute we're going to be adding. So we'll do a Mark III belt, just so we have plenty. It's going to be here. One. And two. Okay. And yeah, I need this guy to be... Uh, let's see here. Be there. Uh, you're already a little excited for when we get the drones. Could probably make for an ex amazing train station. Uh, drones used for the train station, huh? Let me see here. One, two. I gotta get to phase three for drones, right? That's what I that's what I think we need to do. Okay, so that should be straight into there. And then this guy's gonna be a splitter straight into there. And uh, might as well do mark three belt. Okay, there we go. So this just needs the rubber brought in. Let's have this set up. All the way down there. Okay. Right there. And then what we'll need is, I, what I currently have is uh, rubber pulled off in one place with a smart splitter, so I'm going to want to do something similar. Do I actually have... Is this a smart splitter? It is. Any undefined is left. Oh. Where's my rubber... Where's my rubber going into my base right now? Where? I know there's some rubber somewhere. Ah, that's the rubber going up. Okay. Oh, oh I just fell. Oh, great. Great job. Okay. Uh, you're excited for hover pack? Rand is going to love it. Uh, oh, the, the hover pack is a little slow. Your stupid ammo factory would be completely possible to build with a hover pack. It's the least walkable factory of all time. Drones are in tier 8. I have a ways to go. Um, phase 3 unlocks tier 7 and 8 or tier 6 and 7? I actually can't remember. I already love the jetpack, so... The hover pack's even half as good as jetpack. I'm sure I will love it. Okay, so I think... Huh, I already have a... It's interesting that I have a... Plus, I guess I just put a random smart splitter here and saying, I'm going to probably split off of here sometime, so... It actually works almost perfectly to go right off of there. Okay. Great job, past Rand. Goodness. Past Rand... He's a he's a he's a hero. Past ran the hero. Almost straight there. There we go. I'm pretty sure I'm using more rubber than I'm producing right now, but that's okay. Uh, I think I'm going to be upgrading my rubber production soon. So that actually is two of the three items we need for one of our one of the pieces we need. We have a lot of stuff to automate because these three phase three things I need, um, I think we actually have to automate. Oh, I keep forgetting I have an elevator. I think we need to automate like two or three extra things that are new just to be able to build two of those items. So They buffed 
Have our pack speed a little bit. It's as fast as running with Blade Runners now, but it's not really meant to be a get around fast tool. It's just a way to make uh, building easier. The jetpack is better for traversal. Future Rand, we'll see this in another way. Okay. That's why I see rubber. All right, there we go. So now what we're going to need is modular frames. And we three, uh, so this is gonna be an upgrade build. Uh, 3.75 a minute times two. I need 7.5 a minute more modular frames. So let's go see what we gotta upgrade for this. All right, modular frames. Yeah, so we're gonna have to upgrade it by a decent chunk. So, we're currently doing 21 and we're using 20, so I basically need 6.5 more. It is dark in here. Uh, okay. Even though they're backed up, I want to always make sure anytime I upgrade my or need to use more of an item further up, I'm always making more than I need. That is one of the goals that I've set for this playthrough. So, we make three a minute. So, I need to do three extras of these to get nine. Um, nine extra. Do I happen to have a better modular frame recipe that I would want to swap out? I doubt it, but it doesn't hurt to check. Uh, I think we're using steeled frames, which is the three per minute. This guy is... Oh, this guy's five per minute. This guy's more... A minute, but we have to use screws, and I'm trying to avoid using screws like Factoid recommended. Um, uh, by the way, you're still not sure why your game is stuck in low poly. Well, that sucks. Alright, so I only need three extra minutes. So let's see if I just expand this build. It'll be pretty easy to do that. Well, I say it'll be easy. I need to see how many more materials I need for that. Two and three. And this would be copy, paste, paste, paste. Steel frame is better, better anyway. It's slower, but it's more resource efficient and no screws. Cool. So I need to check how many steel pipes and reinforced iron plates we're making first. So steel pipes is the first. I need 30 more steel pipes a minute and we're then we're currently using for this 30 more so let me check my steel pipes if our production holds up to that 30 extra yes perfect we're already making enough steel pipes i might have to check the throughput of it but we're already making enough and i was yes so i can have the steel pipes just go straight in here it's perfect It'll be the um, reinforced iron plate that I have a feeling we might not be making enough of. Okay, this is a Mark III belt. I will actually need to check how many in total we're making of a Mark III belt is fast enough. But we'll check that in a second. That would be a splitter. It's always nice when... Past Rand overbuilt something enough that I don't have to upgrade it for a new build. It's only uh, 10 a minute, so I can do Mark 1s into here, into here, into here. So let me check. Each of these uses 10 a minute, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're only using 100 a minute, so Mark 3 belt is plenty fast. Um, let me get power for these guys. And then we need to check reinforced iron plates. That was a nice quick upgrade for these guys. Uh, if only there were more steel ingots laying around. Well, I got plenty of steel. Steel's not what I'm worried about. Uh, it's... The things I'm making out of steel that I'll need to upgrade. So let me see, modular frame-wise, how many more we need. 
uh, reinforced iron plates. So two times three. So I need six more reinforced iron plates a minute. Do I have that already being built? Six more. Actually, yes. Okay. So I just need to update this to say 20 a minute. Beautiful, man. I don't even need to do any upgrades for those. Perfect. We're now consuming 20 of those. And the steel pipes... 30 more, so let me make mark that down. So now this is 392 a minute. If I do any more things that use those, I probably will need to upgrade uh, that. But this is going to be um, nine more a minute that we'll be producing. That'll be 30. And then 7.5, we'll be using 27.5 a minute. Very good. Okay, cool. So now let's get those inserted. This supply line upgraded. And if my math was correct, and I've been keeping on top of all this stuff, we actually... This is... All we have to do for this first expansion, we don't actually have to upgrade anything in this supply line, which for supply chain, which would be amazing. What belt are we using? Is that a Mark III? It is. Okay. And these are how many a minute? Two per minute, so a Mark I belt is fine. Oh my god, is this a merger? It's a merger. It's supposed to be a splitter. What is wrong with my brain? Alright, just plug this in and we'll put the splitters on here. There. There. Mark one belt. Mark one belt. A little bit. Why are these all slowly coming up here? This belt is not even close to the right speed. That's why. I might actually need to go down below this and make sure we got a mark whatever belt for this guy. That a mark three. Mark three. Mark three. Probably not making them nearly that fast, but I'm gonna just upgrade all these belts, cause why not? Okay, there we go. Those will back up. So now I need the outputs of the modular frames going where they need to go. So I need to go to the top floor. These doors are freaking busted, man. They do not stay on automatic mode. Every time I reload the game, it doesn't save that. It's just like my in-game settings. It doesn't save them. Uh, Future Rain is going to be so pissed that Pastor installs extra production on the next build. Future Rand's always mad at Past Rand. <laughs> you only do the merger splitter thing wrong about 75% of the time. It's like plugging a USB cord. Wait, it's upside down. Wait, it's upside down. Wait, I know it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of the point where you're just swimming in owl clad sheets and you just put everything up on Mark V belts because it's easy to never, easier to never switch. That makes, makes sense. All right, so this is going to be going here. So, either of these two will work. Okay. So we're going down to our modular frames. So I need to find where I have a clear space to bring these guys up in this area. Oh, gosh. Neither of those will work. Um, but I could bring it around at one of these places. So what I could do... 
looks like this one's never gonna work. That one's never gonna work, but I could do a little bit of finagling here. R E that way. Reinforced iron plates, and I could bring them from any of these spots here. So that would be here, here, or here. And that guy's going in the right direction. I just need to remember we're going to there. So, okay. Oh my gosh, are all three of these guys taking over? This is this is what I've been worried about is <laughs> the further up I go, the board of the spaces I'm using to move up through our factory. So uh, it's fine, it's fine. On this one, we can use any of those. On this floor, we can go any of these. Eventually, we'll find a spot that will work. Okay. All right, here's the modular frames. So here we go. This guy right here will work. Here will work. Here will work. Uh, I didn't fix the outputs of these guys, though, did I? Let me make sure I do that first. But now I know where they're going. Chargers. All right, how many we're making a minute? Three a minute. Okay. I was thinking last night, too, as my brain does when I'm trying to go to sleep, I start thinking about, okay, what am I going to do on the stream tomorrow? Um, I was thinking about if I upgrade my rubber and plastic using that, um... I just heard my train. Uh -huh. Using my, uh, the build, uh, the thing I, I looked up on stream the other day about recycled plastic taking half of your rubber half of your plastic and sending each of those to recycled plastic but you need fuel for that and i was like well where am i gonna get fuel uh, i think i already have a, a a recipe that takes um uh heavy oil residue and turns it to fuel so i could probably get rid of all of my coke and have turned all that into fuel instead and then be able to make something with that so all right, are all those going? All those are going. Okay, good. You're doing the grossest thing you've ever done in this ammo factory, putting five different items onto a single belt. You feel dirty. That does sound dirty. So dirty. Left is going to be any undefined here. All right, so that's going to go up to this guy. Which this will actually work out pretty, pretty well, except do I want to leave this area clean? It's already been taken up by something, so I will not worry about that. Mark three, to the right direction. This, this, beautiful. All right, and then we just gotta take that up to the top floor and that will be versatile frameworks, fully upgraded and automated. I only need to go up one floor each time, so that should be this guy. I'm just walking through the doors there. Alright, so that's this guy, and we can go up any of these guys, so let's go... You know, honestly, the one that's clearest I should probably leave clear for other things, so let's go with this guy right here. i go like that. i go like that. Should be clean there. Beautiful. Okay. That looks good. I'm just gonna jump this if uh, my auto save does not kill me. Okay, modular frames there, and we are going over to this guy. Now you just have to sit back and wait for 2,500 to build. Hurry up and wait, man. Hurry up and wait. That's where I'm getting close to, because I need 2,500 of these things, too, that we're about to build. All right, it's a little, a little spaghettified inside of here, but you know what? 
it's actually working out pretty well. So I'm going to call this good. And where is that coming up from? Modular frames. Right here. And that one is actually straight up and down. It's a miracle. Okay. Beautiful. And there it is. All right. And one thing I wanted to say I wanted to do, I wanted to always bring these forward. That way I'm not clipping over areas I might want to pass through later. That will make future Rand happier. All right. So that's this guy. One, two. And that's going to go over to this way. That's going to go one, two, one, two. This. That looks good. And two. Neutralizer factory has a distinct lack of cent of centralized storage. Man, you gotta plan better. Be like past Rand, who made all so much of our uh, centralized storage planned out, which is a big old mess, but at least it's there. Yeah, I'm not getting a line here, but we'll call that good. Um, how many of these do we need a minute? 3.75, so mark one belt is fine on the output. Okay, there we go. I believe we got versatile frameworks going. Um, so next thing we need to do is just get the outputs. So that would be merger. This way, and we'll just go ahead and put the merger here since we'll probably eventually upgrade this for some other builds. What's up, Pie? Boy? How are you doing? Throws a greeting pie at Rand. A greeting pie. It's delicious, except that I don't like pie. What? I know. Well, if it's chocolate pie, I probably would like it. Mark three belt. Mark three belt. When you built it, it was still in the factory mindset of buffering bad. Okay. Work is done for today. Ready to rock and stone. <laughs> rock and stone. Beautiful. Okie okie dokie. So we're going to do a smart splitter right here. Mark three belt here. We'll say to the right is any undefined. Center is overflow. And this will be ready to go somewhere eventually. But for now, we're going to have it go down to storage. And then in the short term, it'll go directly through storage to our um, sky elevator thing. Uh, you're looking at the steam sale, huh? Steam sale. I think I need bigger container. The small one can't hold 2,500. Uh, I don't need this to hold 2,500. I'm going to have it go directly to the place where it needs to go. I'm going to have it directly. You know what I... Mm, no, I think I will have it go to storage, but then have a temporary thing that goes to the Space Needle thing. that direction. We're going to just stair step our way down here. There. Man, I, I, I can already feel how hover, uh, hover pack would be so much better than jet pack for what we're doing. Oh my god, the auto save. Did I not change it to 15 minutes? I swear I changed it to 15 minutes. Why are you on 5 minutes? Freaking 15 minutes, please. Apply. I... I... I tried to figure out how to make it so that my save, my settings save, but I can't figure it out. Uh, did my user interface save? It saved the pink. I don't know why I didn't save the 15 minutes. Whatever. I just have to change it every time I play. 
I've made a mini game out of building the factory squid, a squid game, if you will. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Never watched that show, but I totally get it. I totally get your joke. All right, now I got to figure out where this wants to go. Is the thing because now this is where the true spaghetti is. We need to get it all the way over there somewhere, so it probably needs to go somewhere around right in the middle here. There. All right, let's go figure out where this is gonna go. I think I actually have a couple storage containers ready. Uh, if you're piping it straight to the elevator, it doesn't matter. Uh, bigger containers called the space elevator. Yes. Squid Game is a good show. Go in cold if you can. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty dramatic show, so I probably am not gonna even get into it. I'm not big on drama stuff, but maybe, maybe one day. That should be right. So that'll go in, and then what I'm gonna do is have temporarily go out to directly the space elevator. So now I gotta bring it to there, and we'll have a overflow. Do I not have overflow set up for computers? Although it doesn't matter. I discovered something uh, before I finish building this. I wanna show you all something. I forgot about this. I think I learned this last time I played and I forgot about it. My awesome sink is not eating stuff anymore. And it's because if you have two awesome sinks, I think it prioritizes one over the other. So you can't just have like five awesome sinks all eating stuff at the same time, unless I'm missing something. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna eat anything until my other awesome sink stops eating things, right? Anybody confirm if that's true or not? Because it's eating stuff from my other awesome sink and it just won't eat the stuff over here. Unless, Unless it won't eat certain items and it's these barrel nuts. Maybe it's the barrel nuts. Maybe maybe I shouldn't have done barrel nuts. Can it not eat those? Maybe maybe it's it's because I'm feeding it the wrong item. Maybe I'm incorrect. Uh, you know what? I've never seen it stop before. It's gotta be the barrel nuts. It's gotta be the barrel nuts, actually. Let me take those out. Let me pick these up off of here. You know what? I think it's just that. Let me pick this up. Still not going because that barrel nut is there. Yeah, I think nuts must be unsinkable. And now I can't. There must be some barrel nuts sitting inside of here right now. Okay, there it goes. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. I it, I put a wrong item in there, and that's what's unsinkable. Okay. I was I was worried about that the other night. I was thinking, oh crap. I'm not going to be able to uh, run all these multiple sinks like I want to, but I can. I just have to not put unsinkable items. There we go. That'll fix the problem. And actually, I might want to pick up some stuff in here that's actually useful. So these, 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 these. I'll keep those. Sink those. Okay. It's back to what we're working on. These guys need to get across to over here somewhere. Um, and I'm one thing I noticed is I'm not sinking overflow of computers, which I should be doing. So the computers should actually go into this guy over here. Um, yes, that's coming. That one's going down below. So I need a smart splitter on my computers. I somehow missed that. Hopefully that's the only thing I haven't been sinking. Everything else that should be smart sinking somewhere. Motors, yeah, motors have a have a thing over there. Okay, good. Computers, I didn't like do that somewhere else. No, okay, good. So, computers. Center is any undefined. 
left is none, right is overflow. And it should be about this level right here. And that's straight, perfect, beautiful. Not that these are actually gonna get sunk because I'll be honest, None of this stuff is getting sunk because it's too long of a line with not a fast enough belt, but that's fine. Okay. So now I can get set up for bringing stuff through here. Is that where I want to bring it? I think I planned on bringing it through. Well, I could probably bring it through here too if I wanted to. This guy. One, two, one, two, three, four, five is where this needs to get to. Now I need to bring it through here on this level right here. Let's see if I can find a place. One, two, three. Somewhere through there. Somewhere through this giant mess. <laughs> one, two, three. I've done I've done such a good job of keeping spaghetti out of a lot of my builds, but this my storage thing is just I don't know how to not make it complete spaghetti mode. But that's fine, it's fine. Uh, you just need to be smart about the way you configure the merger so it merges evenly. Well, I ha it's, it's, it's another one of those things where it's, um, what is it called? It's, um, manifold, so it's just not merged evenly. Alright, so let's figure out where this needs to go. This guy is right here. So it needs to be two over from here, which would be one, two, right in the middle of this belt. Is that lined up correctly? I think it actually needs to be one space over. I think it's there. I love that they let you put stuff in between stuff because that makes it a lot easier to make this, make these things happen. Okay, I think one higher will do it. That will that will go through the computers, but only briefly. I could have this actually be a little shorter. And have it, yes, come across and then go down to the next one. I think I like that better. Okay. Was it? It's about right there, I think. That's straight. Holy crap, that is nice and clean and beautiful. All right, now where is this going? Going to that guy there. And it's too long. Okay. Well, let's see what level we want it at. I think we want it at that level, so I need to put one like right in the middle here. One, two, three, four, five. It'll be somewhere in there. I think we go to this level right there, that will work. Let there be spaghetti. Let there be spaghetti. Okay, a little tiny clipping there, it's not too bad. Now we can fit through here. I actually can't wait for the hover pack now that you were talking about it earlier. That looks good.
there. And there. So it goes under underneath spaghettified right to here. How many mergers have I set up? Do you do you really want to know? Do you see this line? How many items do I have? That's how many mergers I have set up. That many. I, I have no idea how many that is. Like 40, 30, something like that? I don't know. I'm going to leave that guy there, but now I'm going to re uh, deconstruct all of these guys. Now that our spaghetti is done. What I really need to do if I want to get these things um, recycling is set up another awesome sink. Or really what I need to do is completely redo all the storage here, which I keep saying is a future RAND project. I'm probably never going to do it. Probably just going to keep making the spaghetti worse and never fixing it. Because, you know, that's what you do in these games, right? Just make the spaghetti worse and never fix it. And say, ah, we'll clean that up later. Okay, there we go. That will do what I want it to do. Spaghetti better than upsetty. That's right. You'll take 30. Oh, are you going to give me a another build idea to help fix it? All right. So I'm going to do a splitter off of there. And we're going to do the merger here. Right in the middle. And we are smart splitter off of this guy. Center is any undefined. Left is none. Right is overflow. And we have this guy. About right there. At least the way I have it set up is straight. So that's nice when things are straight. I like that. Okay. And now I can start feeding all of these. Uh, I'll have to change this once. Once we're done feeding them all. But these are all going to go over to there. third guy over here. Alright, that'll be... Now we gotta just wait for 2,500 of those guys. And now we can start working on the next piece. You had to leave before the end of the last stream. Am I done with the train schedule and infusion of steel? Yes. Um, I can kind of show it to you. I'll show it to you real quick. Just a quick uh, overview of what, what the station looks like. This second station is not doing anything, but this station, we have two, these are probably both full, honestly. Yeah, we have two giant industrial, what are they called? Industrial storage containers filled with steel. This is being fed by 600 steel a minute, smelting way over at this station here. Smeltery Prime, you can see our train is coming from there, bringing another, probably, I have a feeling both cars in this are almost completely full because both the freight platform and the uh, storage are pretty much staying full. The, uh, the only place I'm eating this steel is, uh, I think I did a little bit of steel beam production upgrade a bit ago, so. But we have the start of that and we have, we have a lot of steel we can use for future builds, which, with what I'm about to automate, I probably am going to need more of. And what I didn't make a mark of was that I'm using an extra 60 rubber a minute. Let me go mark, uh, put that on my board before I forget. I think there's 30 times 2 for this build. So an extra 60 
rubber a minute we are now using. I still am not even seeing the rubber move on this, which is weird to me because we're using it. You're going to tell how often one of the last times we sunk about 37, 282 hours zoom you belt with a Mark V. I don't have Mark V yet, so I'm only using Mark IV, so it's probably even longer than that. 60. So yeah, we're actually consuming, we should be consuming 90 plus 60, 150 a minute. We should be consuming more than we're producing. Currently, we're completely backed up, probably because I have a lot of buffers of rubber. I'm going to be upgrading this build eventually, though. I'm confused why this rubber is not moving, though. I should be using it at the top where we're making these virtual frameworks. Spaghetti does not have to be bad. Chef is approved, has approved of it. Okay, good. Glad to hear he approves. <laughs> or he or she, they approve. Okay, there we go. Rubber's moving a little bit. Not there. Why is this backed up? I should be making, you know what, probably because we're trying to pump it in faster than we can actually even use it, so, okay. So rubber needs an upgrade, but it doesn't need it now because we have so much buffer that we're actually not running out. So, versatile frameworks, I need to make a sign for that. That is ninth floor. Let's do a random. How about light blue color? Sure. Ninth floor. Versatile frame work. Works. Okay. And there will be other things there, but I don't know where I'm going to put other things yet. So we'll just go for that right now. How fast can you get with a jetpack? Uh, probably jumping from a Mark IV belt into a cannon that I haven't played with yet. All right, so let's figure out what we want to do next. Where? So I just started Versatile Framework, so those are going. Big open space so I can build a thing and look at what I want to do next. So we got modular en engines and adaptive control units. Each of these take one other item, right? I need to make smart plating and I need to make automated wiring for both of those things. So the first thing we need to do is smart plating and uh, let's do this one at a time because. I'm going to need to know how many of these you want to make. So I'm probably, I think I want to do modular engines on the same floor. I'm doing the flexible framework, which means I might do smart plating on that same floor. So I'll need motors and, again, rubber for this guy. Smart plating. I'm probably going to use that plastic. More reinforced iron plates and rotors. If I do the alternate one. Okay. So let's go see how much of each of these we need if I go place this up there. Figure how many I want to be do with these in a minute. Hey, what's up, Nachatir? How are you doing? I'm doing well. What happens with the Desert Factory? Saw the YouTube videos. Ha! <laughs> the Desert Factory was my last playthrough that... I, I, I figured the last... the end of that. I don't know if you have just haven't got to the end of that video or not. The end of that series of videos was Epic Game Store eating a whole stream of my work because of their really crappy sync feature, uh, cloud save feature. So I basically gave up on that. That was a year or two ago when that happened. So I'm now playing on Steam on a completely new factory where we are now building a factory in the Crater Lakes and the desert on this playthrough, I'm using solely for having a train go pick up a bunch of raw materials and ship it over here to the Crater Lakes. So, that factory died. A, a horrible, sad death is what happened to that factory, sorry to say. I basically rage quit when Epic Games Store crapped out on me. 
Oh, the videos I just loaded one or two days ago. Oh, uh, well, it's, it's great. It's making, it's over here. I guess I'll need to visit to show it off, but um, it is, our Cookie Prime is currently parked at our, what are we calling it? I called it our smeltery. We're making 600 steel a minute over there. So it's looking good. We have 600 steel a minute. It's sending it to the factory and I'm currently using it for steel beams. And so I'm kind of working towards the next build right now. But I can show it off later on. I'll probably show it off later on when I need to actually um, probably get co next time I need to get either copper or iron smelted in increasing uh, increasing in that numbers. Is that right? I think it's one space over from that. No, that it actually is right. Okay. You follow here, and when you can't see the YouTube videos, that history of Epic and the crash and the rage quit you saw in the video you just watched yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I was, it was sad. I was sad about that. I was sad. So this wants to be modular ed engines so I can figure out how many smart platings a minute we need. So I basically want to do two of these. I, I'm kind of just doing two of each of these guys. Although maybe I won't even do three of these, but we'll see. Each of these takes 15 rubber a minute. I guess the real question is how many smart platings a minute do I want to make? And I feel like I can make a decent amount of smart platings a minute with this recipe here. That's five. So if I did two smart platings, that'll give us 10 smart platings a minute. 10 smart platings a minute would give us enough for five of these guys. But maybe I do, maybe I do four of these, which would give me four modular engines, which would mean I'd be producing two extra smart platings a minute, so I have some overflow. Let's do it that way. So we're gonna go two smart platings into four modular engines. That way we'll have a, a slight excess. So four of these guys. Three, and I'm out of cabling. I'm also out of steel beams. We're doing so many of these belts. One, two, three. And anything else I just really need. I could use some extra concrete. And doo -doo 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 -doo. motors, rotors were pretty good. Computers, okay, let me just get some more uh, iron rods as well. Iron rods and concrete. Two, three, four. Stacks of those. Filling up my inventory. Go with that for now. History of Epic and the Crash, the Rage Quit. You saw that in the video, or you probably saw me, I guess, talking about that. Because I think I think I have on YouTube the videos of the the previous Satisfactory build. I'm pretty sure I was uploading everything to YouTube back then. All right, so we go fourth of these manufactories. Here. Okay. Copy. Paste. Paste. And before we do this, we're going to get the smart plating automated. And I'm going to do the smart plating on this floor, right? I think I want to do the smart plating on this floor. So that would be the middle guy would be modular engines. Modular engines look like what? This? Modular engines producing for a minute. I have no idea how many we'll be uh, consuming yet. Okay. Okay. 
that is modular engines consuming something a minute. There we go. And then what we're going to do here is going to be smart plating. This guy. Smart plating. I think I said I was going to produce two a minute. Uh, no, uh, 10 a minute. And then I'm going to consume eight a minute. So we have a built-in overflow already. We we'll probably have to increase this at some point, but smart plating, consuming eight per minute. That is the plan. Okay. All right, so uh, now we got to build a floor for all this stuff. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Freaking zoop mode. Give me the zoop. God, I love zoop mode so much. One more layer there. Okay. Zoop mode, best mode. This is so convenient compared to how you used to have to do large-scale builds. Uh, that might be the single best thing they ever added was zoop mode, man, I swear. There. Okay, and for these guys, this takes four or three items. This only takes three. One of them is going to be coming from this floor, so two of these items. And actually, one of them's rubber, right? Yeah, one of them. So only only motors are going to have to be brought up this way. So I'm only going to need one item brought up from lower in the factory, and that one item can be brought from anywhere, starting here over. So we'll figure out motors later. And rubber will be coming from here. Smart plating will be coming from here. Smart plating coming from here. So that means I could actually have the smart plating output be right here, I believe. I think that would work. I can have this come out, go to a smart, smart splitter right here. That. Is that centered? That's centered. More three belt. Left would be any undefined. Center would be overflow. Right would be none. And how this would go would be the any undefined. Would go there. And this would be the smart plating fed over into these guys. So I'm going to just go ahead and get that set up right now. This is already ready to go. That would be a splitter going there. Third guy over right there. We'll plan ahead so future Rand will not be mad at us. This is really satisfactory. As always, you will allow that. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you both are so satisfied by this game right now. I wonder if they knew when they came up with the name of this game how their name was going to be used as a pun more than anything else. All right, so that means this is the output of smart plating. And we build the smart plating here, and we're doing two. This is the output of only two smart plating producers, I believe. One, and I'm out of. What am I out of? I'm out of plastic. Okay, damn. I didn't check my rubber or plastic, rubber or plastic amounts. 
Uh, I have to go all the way down because over here is where my plastic and rubber is. You sure they relied upon that? Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. You're probably right. All right. Anything else I just need while I'm down here? Uh, I should throw these versatile frameworks into here because I don't need them. It's not with anything I'm building. Throw grabs those guys there. Okay. I think we're looking pretty good on everything else. Actually, heavy modular frames. I should grab while I'm down here. And even some copper sheets, too. Okay. So I cleared out my inventory a bit. I'm going to get some more of these guys. Because those are used to build the floor, and I'm probably going to have to build more, a bunch more floors soon. And I can put here now. It's not just Versatile Frameworks. It's actually going to be... Um, modular engines and smart plating. Beautiful. I love how organized our factory is. I love how organized it is. First floor, we have room for another thing, so I might build one of the parts for one of the things coming up soon. I have room on sixth floor, first floor and fifth floor to add a third item. My plan is to have three items per floor. Probably right, we are Twitch chat, we are always right. You appreciate my YouTube videos, thank you. Thanks, J uh, JP, I appreciate that. I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. You all watching it, watching these makes me able to do these. It's a symbiotic relationship, kind of. All right, so this is smart plating, and I believe this will be five a minute. Right. Copy. Paste. Okay, let's get the output set up, and then I'm going to have to figure out what I need to increase in my factory for all this stuff. I'm hoping not too much, but I have a feeling this one way I will have to uh, increase. So merger. One. And two, uh, that is not lined up. When did I add the elevators? Uh, two streams ago, I believe. And uh, was it you, Vega, that helped me design that? It looks really cool from the outside. Let me show you what it looks like from the outside. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It uses some sort of what did you call it, Vega? Uh, sky something approach where there's a floor in the middle that um, attaches to all of them. Sky Lobby. Use the Sky Lobby system. And we added glass to the outside. It looks really cool. Uh, is there glass here? There isn't. I actually need to add glass there. Uh, once I go higher levels, um, we're going to have to like start a new Sky Lobby system, I think, because you can only go a certain number of floors with the four we have. So I, I haven't figured that out yet, though. And my brain kind of breaks when I try to figure it out. Mark three belt. Mark three belt. And then the overflow of this guy will go to I think it's here so one two that looks right beautiful and that'll be the overflow I won't set up the output of that yet because that's going to be a, way, a way, ways away to get that done Looks like a vacuum. Do I do I have the opportunity to design my own char oh character? Uh, no, you don't get to do any character design in this game. You don't get to like change how they look or anything like that. 
All right, so reinforced iron plates, rotors, and plastic. Uh, let's do the plastic first, because that's the easiest. So plastic will just be coming straight from over there. So one, two, plastic will be on this row to here. Two, so be like that. Something like one, two, that. I'm just kind of guesstimating how long these belts can be. Okay. And I'll want the plastic to come up around here. Yeah, that should work. So right here. And we'll do the mark three, even though that's way faster than we probably need. There. There. So let's get this plugged in, and then we'll go grab the plastic from below. Um, Weck, if we want to expand. What? I guess that's supposed to be what if we want to expand. Now we need at least one extra space to the side, either for an extra sky lobby or we need to make the current sky lobbies bigger. Yeah, that's that's what we'd have to do to expand. How much plastic? It's only 7.5 a minute. It's not that much plastic, actually. Uh, splitter. So mark one here is fine. Okay, that's good. All right, now let's go get the plastic up to here. The jump in complexity from this phase of space elevator to the next is just redonkulous. Really? And I thought this was complex, but okay. Okay, so I need to bring this up from down there, down below. But isn't that how it always is in games? They always have like a ginormous change in complexity every tech level you go up. All right, so this is gonna be plastic. From? Right off here, actually, we'll have this be pretty much even with this guy. So that would be Smart Splitter. Let's actually bring this down. That will probably help me line this up better. This is actually right lined up with one of these, uh, these things. Yes, so I need to move this. Or remove this. I'll leave that. Will I leave that one there? No, I won't leave that one there. <laughs> okay, smart splitter. Will it give me a green line for this guy? Looks like it will not, so I gotta eyeball it. There. I'll call that straight enough. So, center will be... Overflow, left is any undefined, right is none. There we go. So that should be plastic going up to that floor. Beautiful. Okay, now we're finally using plastic and rubber for some of these things. All right, so next we got to figure out what, what numbers we need to increase of things in our production lines in our factory for uh, the smart plating. Uh, elevator. Use the elevator. Uh, current system is the optimal solution for nine floors. For the next level, you need all these parts plus supercomputers, plus particle accelerators, plus aluminum, turbo motors, radio control units, etc. It gets crazy. Okay. Motors, rubber, smart plating. Reinforced iron plates and rotors. Okay. So there's no overlap with those guys. Except rotors into motors on the other one. So I'll have to figure that out later. Let's currently see... Okay, one item at a time. Let's see. I should see plastic coming into these guys. Oh, this isn't powered. Let me power this first. Just so I can make sure things are going in giggity. Uh, I need... So mark 
two guy, and then grab off of that guy, and go there, and there, make that a mark two pole, and bring that guy over here. Now plastic should be going in there. Beautiful. All right. Um, so reinforced iron plates or rotors. Which do I want to do first? We just looked at reinforced iron plates earlier. I only need five per minute. More. Let me go see if I need to expand that. Reinforced iron plates. I need five more a minute. I didn't have to upgrade for the previous thing, but for this guy, I might need to upgrade. Yep. Okay. I don't need that many more a minute, but I'm going to be consuming 25 a minute. We're going to be consuming 25 a minute. So is this... God, why does my light keep turning off? Only 2.5. I'm using a copper wire build for this. Five point six two five. I only need to do one more of these guys to be ahead. So let me make sure I have enough iron plates and copper wire. How much copper wire will it be uh, extra? It'll be. 37.5 copper wire, 18.7. I'm not going to remember these numbers. So it's going to I'm going to need 18.75 copper wire more and eight uh crap, that's iron plates, not copper wire. There's probably a better way to do this, but this is the only way I know to do it to make sure we're not under supplying anything 37.5 wire all right so that's what i need to make sure i have enough to do so copper wire iron plates we have plenty of cop uh, of iron plates so let me just say that uh, change this to how much more we're going to consume so 18.75 plus 75. 18.75 plus 75. 93.75 is how many we'll be consuming after we do this upgrade. 93.75. Um, what the hell? That's that's the old thing. Oh, that's if I add another thing. This is. I need to change this so I, this is throwing me off. This is when we add a third thing, whatever that third thing is. There's a nice way to organize manufacturers in a small place. You build a four stack of belts, one foundation width from the front of the manufacturer. The lower two can feed inputs with ramped belts from the splitter, and the upper two are high enough to use elevators. Set the distance just right, you can feed manufacturers on both sides. Four stack of belts, one foundation width, lower two feed inputs with ramped belts. Uh, okay, I, I'm not going to change what I'm doing, but that's good to know. <laughs> good to know I'm not changing. I, my fam, I'm way too far in to make any changes like that. Fourth floor, copper wire. Uh, fifth floor then goes down one, right? There. That's how it goes. This. How's my... Apparently going through the elevator turns it just turns your battery off. That must be what's happening. Okay, good. So we are com we are making or making enough copper wire. So all I need to do is add 37.5 240 plus 37.5. 277.5 is how much we'll be consuming. There. Keeping track of all this. So we're making enough copper wire. We're making enough 
iron plates. What is the speed of the belts going to places is the next question. Let me upgrade my iron, my copper wire is kind of a mess. I think I have Mark III belts going to most of the places where they need to go. This copper wire is not going anywhere. Where's, I want to check the speed of where copper wire is going currently. Because I feel like it is not moving fast enough. Potentially to where I need it to go. Oh, the copper wire is kind of a mess. You wouldn't change it. It's just for the next time. It's the best way you found to pack manufacturers in a smaller space. They're huge space hogs. Okay. These guys, where are these guys going? These guys are going into here. Those are going to somewhere. Where is this copper wire going? I need to figure out, because that's going really slow. If that's going to my production of something, I feel like it's slowed down. Like this right here. This, this is the copper wire going to reinforced iron plates. Ah, I have two belts and one is supplementing. That's what I'm doing. Not sure why I did it that way. I Probably I didn't have fast enough belts when I built this. So what I think I need to do is completely change the copper wire input to this and make it a Mark III belt. Because this mess is not, is not good. So... Um, how do I fix that? It's too easy to start. Mark three belts. Mark three belts. Mark three belts. Mark three. Mark three. And I just want to get rid of this one and combine these two together is what I want to do. So that would mean we need a Mark III belt here, here, increase this entire belt here to Mark III. What am I? What? What are you running into? Is it the power line that's stopping me from being able to select this? Jesus. Tire belt to Mark III. So that way it's not belt slowing anything down. Cool feeling coming back to a build you struggle with just magically solving it by upgrading belts. Cool feeling and a little um, annoying because I like have to retro flex fix it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, go back in time and fix it. So basically what I want to do is I want to combine... Like this is a fully stacked belt here. I almost think I need to do Mark IV belt there so I can combine... Actually, okay, yes. We do a Mark IV belt here and then combine this excess thing to that. Which means all these need to be Mark IVs instead of Mark threes, like I did. So now what I need to do is I need to merge onto this from this. And before I do that, I want to fix the thing down below so I'm not stopping my reinforced iron plate, plate production. Because what I have is like a, yeah, I have a smart splitter and then overflow. So let's fix this build first. My brain's going to break trying to figure all this out, but 
Oh, that's the wrong thing. This guy. There. Copy. Paste. Three. That's 5.65. 625 on that. Yeah, that's definitely the one we want to use out of the choices we have. So this is going to be a splitter here. This is really close, close in here. We have this splitter there. We have the reinforced iron plates there. Okay. Gonna be a Mark IV belt the entire way. Eighteen thirty-seven point five. Okay, so Mark One belt in, and then change this. Get rid of this. 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 Ah, crap. Mark four. Mark four. Splitter. Mark one belt there. Okay, so that shouldn't have interrupted production too long. Get rid of all these old belts. A little bit of overlap there, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, a splitter here. Okay, there we go. So we fixed copper. I just need to go to mark four belts on all these guys. Mark four, mark four, mark four, mark four. Okay, beautiful. Now. I can get, just get rid of this. It was like a supplemental belt when our belts weren't fast enough. Uh, you ride into your tier one factory with your hover pack and mark five belts, just click everywhere. I am a god now. <laughs> That's right. Uh, bow down to me, you mark one belts. What's this weird guy yelling? The peasants say. All right, so we can get rid of... Basically, I can get rid of this entire thing here. This is now just all flowing to overflow. But what I want this to do is no longer be this goofy, squiggly line that I never really liked. Now have a merger there. 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 Beautiful. And now this can just go away. There we go. Cleaning up some of our last builds. There might be more copper wire cleanup I'm going to have to do eventually. But for now, that should just be better. And hopefully we have enough everywhere. This is completely filled, so I think... Our numbers are probably good. We'll find out later. This is all backed up. Uh, so that means things should... If things are backed up, that means we're overproducing, under-consuming, which is a good thing. Um, I might have to do, like, a comeback do through and do a QA of my factory at some point to see if anything's not producing at 100%, but for now... Numbers are looking good. I just need to do the reinforced iron plates. The plates flowing here. This is a Mark II belt. How many reinforced iron plates will we be using with five of these guys? 18.75 times one, two, three, four, four, five. Five times 18.75. 93.75. Okay, so. This Mark II belt that I have will still be enough. I probably should upgrade it to a Mark III just to make sure. But... To make this more easily expandable. I'll go like this. 
splitter. Mark one belt. And Mark three is all along this line. I do need the output for this guy and power. Okay, merger. Five point six two five, so that's mark one. Mark three. All the way across. Okay. And now I need these to go somewhere. Currently we have overflow. Um, these are already going where they need to go, or uh, do I need to do a second place where these are going to go? I think this is a new const No, I think this is an expansion. I. This is one of these things where you get the supply lines going, you're like, I forget what I was doing all this for. So 25 a minute. Is that is that is this now correct? 5.625 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5.625 times 5. So we're now that will be producing 28.125. Twenty-eight point one two five. Okay, so that should be the upgrade we need. Now, where are these reinforced iron plates going? Are they going all the way to the top? Or are they going somewhere else? Because now I need to get them to where they go. My boy dies a little inside. Is that from your fail of gambling? I think this is up here. We did this. The smart plating uses the reinforced iron plates. Is that why I did all that upgrade? <laughs> Is that what I was doing? Reinforced iron plates. Good. All right. We needed five more. We just improved that by some amount. That will hopefully be enough. All right. So we need to bring the reinforced iron plates, which we can bring them from any of these locations here. Any of those locations, okay. And actually these guys are in the wrong place. These guys should be there, 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 there. You're dying from the overlapping things. Uh, understandable. This is why I deserve to be punned at because of my, uh, my overlapping of things. That's, that's a valid statement. This guy, these guys are left over. I don't need those guys there. So it looks like only really one of these works. Well, I actually could do this one. I would just have to go around those. Uh, actually, no. I want to change this. I really want to change this because this is something I was talking about earlier, wanting to make sure they're all coming this way. Yeah, so those are that's a Mark IV, and this is a Mark II. So let me fix this right now. That is not what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Oh, I'm dumping stuff on the ground right now, aren't I? Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Mark two belt. Go this way. Dumping more stuff on the ground. Yes, I am. Auto save. Okay. 
and I can't pick these things up that are in the middle there. All right, well, I'll have to come pick that up sometime when I have inventory space. I... Oh, damn it, this is going to drive me crazy. Just throw some junk in here for right now. Ugh. Ugh. I have too many modular frames on me. That should fix that. Same thing here. More stuff getting dumped on the ground. How did that one get there? Okay. Alright. Mark four. That. Four. One, two, one, two, one, two. And that, that should all be straight, and that should allow me now to go through here if needed. Uh, trying to Google what real life ore veins are like for your writing, and you're getting all you're getting is Skyrim and Minecraft for ore veins. Ha ha ha. Funny. Uh, we just have some random modular frames up here. It's fine. It's fine. We'll maybe clean that up later. Okay, so that's where these guys would be. So that would mean this would be doable, and that would be doable. And I'm trying to get reinforced iron frames. Eventually, it'll be something else. I left some stuff from before. Oh, please tell me I'm not going to leave other stuff on the ground by doing that. Okay. We're good. Okay, so this is reinforced iron plates. Going for. This is actually going to be so far over, I, I'm going to have to build a floor to get over to here for the reinforced iron plates, I believe. Alright. Well, to the reinforced iron plates floor? I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. That one. That one is doable. I just need to go off to the side. Is this the reinforced iron plates floor? Nope. One more floor down will be the reinforced iron plates. Okay. This guy will be a little awkward. I'll just need to go like this. Get up to there. So this should be reinforced iron plates floor. Rotors, I think, are further up. Well, actually, I don't know. So I'm going to put this here because I might need this. Okay, so this is going to be coming from reinforced iron plates, which is over... I don't know what that is. I'm not going to touch it. Is this reinforced iron plates over here? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm going to have to split off of this guy, aren't I? Yeah, I think splitting off of this guy is going to be easier than trying to do a separate thing off of there. So that's fine. We'll do that. We'll just upgrade this. Make sure there's a Mark III belt. Split off of it. So I'm going to split off. Go down. Mark III belt. It's going to be one, two... Is that gonna not overlap? That should be good. Okay. Reinforced iron plates are these guys. I'm not even gonna use a smart split. I'm just gonna do splitter so it's an even split. Mark three belt. Goes like that. Right. A little, a little funky, but I'm gonna go with that. As far as you know, ore veins are more. There is an area where the concentration of the mineral we're digging from is a bit larger. Luckily, reality is yours to command. Okay. Almost missed a pun there. Oh, gosh. So that's a little spaghetti. It's a splitter off a splitter off a splitter. I think it's fine. 
Um, I'm honestly not sure if we're creating enough reinforced iron plates for what we're trying to do, but we shall find out. Now we need to go up one floor at a time. Take these reinforced iron plates up to where they need to go. Which will be from here to there. There, to there, very nice. Look up the types of minerals usually mined for iron, hematite, magnetite, siloite, ironstone, for example. It's for post-apocalyptic Fantasy style game you're looking this up for. Okay. Is this is this for for Shogi's game that you're looking this up for? So for the uh the hover pack, does that use the same fuel as the jet pack, or do you need like better fuel for the hover pack? I'm curious. Like, do I have to get turbo fuel going for that hover pack, I wonder? Oh, and it's for the game you're running on Sunday. Gotcha. Hover pack is electric. Oh. I wonder how that works. Um, It doesn't matter how much magnetite you harvest because you're simply going to steal all of it. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Be careful of running, uh, trying to mine hematite around King Boneless, apparently. One, two. What's that? Good, that is not the right. Damn it. Here. One, two. And this will be the first one, so that would be this guy right here. And it's only at like five something a minute, right? 2.5 a minute, so let's do a splitter. That's a merger, that's a splitter, and I don't get a green line. That's good. All right, reinforced iron plates. I have a lot, so I'm just gonna throw some in there. Same for this guy, I'm just gonna throw. Wait, why wasn't there a bunch of stuff in there, or did we already put it in here? Ah, it already got put in there, okay, let's do that. All right, so I should see some of these start coming up. Okay, cool. I hope it's enough a minute. With our calculations, it should be a little more than we need a minute. Hover pack runs on your grid. Have to be in range of a power pole or a machine that's powered. Oh, that's how it works. You will add it to your lair located somewhere in the Himalayan mountains. It's got to be in one of them, I swear. The, the magnetite? Okay, all right. Cool. <laughs> all right, so now... We need to do all what all what we all just did for rotors. We did for reinforced iron plates. So we need five extra rotors a minute. Hopefully, I'm overproducing enough that much already. I don't know if I am, but five extra rotors a minute. Let's go find our rotor floor. I hope you guys are running at 100 percent. 100 percent. 100 percent. That's good. Rotors. Where are the rotors? There's the motors. There's the stators. There's the steel stuff. Here's the rotors. Nope, I gotta upgrade rotors too. Okay, so I need to make five more rotors a minute. Copper sheets and, oh great, it screws. Would this be the time to change to a different rotor build? Currently we're doing copper rotors if I were to go steel rotors I'd have to use pipes instead of I mean uh, wires instead of screws I feel like I kind of just want to go with this as long as I can do this upgrade without too much craziness oh, man screws are annoying however I have better belts for screws now 
So I only need to add one of these to get what I would need for rotors. So let's see what it would take to do that. Do this upgrade. Copy, paste. So that would add 11.25 to what we're doing. 22.5 plus 11.25 is 33.75. 33.75, and we'd be using five more a minute, which would put this at 25 a minute. So that's our goal, to make that happen. Are you guys running at 100%? Just make sure before I add to you, yes. Okay. So 195 screws a minute more and copper sheets. Let's do the copper sheets first, because that'll be easier. So we want to add 22.5 copper sheets a minute that we'd be using. 22.5, do we have that available? Absolutely, great. So 95 plus 22.5, is that what I said? I think that's right, 117.5. 117.5. That'll be an easy upgrade. Let me make sure the throughput of the copper sheets is looking good. Is it only going one place? Um, well, it's going... I have two outputs for them, but this is completely black backed up, so I'm going to assume we have plenty to use. That might be an erroneous assumption, but for now I'm just going to expand that and hope we're good. So that would be these copper sheets right here. Uh, this is even a Mark II. I want to upgrade this Aldo Mark III. Three. Three. Mark III. This guy. This guy. This guy. Mark III. Splitter. Splitter. This one is in the wrong place. This one needs to be here. There. And it needs 22.5, so that's a Mark 1 belt. Mark 1 belt, okay. That's copper sheets. Upgraded. Uh, let me go down to the floor below and just upgrade all that belt to a Mark 3 just to make sure that we're not stopped by it. Uh, belt speed. That's... Oh, I think I already had Mark 3s everywhere except the next floor. So Mark 3. Okay, we actually already had Mark 3 belts, so we're good. We're good on that. Okay. Steel rotors are good because they take the same inputs as staters. Um, I would have to do a pretty major rework to get steel rotors. For my rotor line, since I'm just expanding it, unless I'm going to change the whole line, you wouldn't do it. But if you ever build motors as standalone, it's great to just do rotors and stators all together, same inputs. That's a good idea. If I ever, like, completely change my motor build or something, I might look to do that. Which, motors are something I'm probably going to have to upgrade for the next build. We'll have to see if I want to make that change over. Okay, so that's this guy. So now it's screws. Let me get the output and we'll figure out screws. Screws is going to be the, the fun thing. 11.25, that's a Mark 1 belt. Mark 3, Mark 3, Mark 3. Okay. All right, so screws. So we need to add 195 a minute to screw production. Ugh, where's screws? Hundred ninety-five. Okay, thank God we have we're overproducing screws by a lot when we swapped to steel screws. So 195. So that'll be 895 a minute. The problem is going to be figuring out. The flows of that, the flow, that many screws. So let me go see how many we need for the rotors specifically and see how many belts we need for that. 
if a Mark IV bell will be fast enough. It's basically 195 times 3. 800, no. 195 times 3. 585. That is even more than a Mark IV belt. So I basically need two Mark IV belts is what I need. Um, currently, this is doing enough for these two. Because that's 195 times 2. That's 390. Yeah, it's a Mark IV belt being split. So I basically need a single standalone thing for 195. You can you do all you can even do all of it with just iron and coal if you use iron wire. Uh, for motors, that does sound pretty nice. Okay. Let me figure out how I'm gonna bring some extra screws up here because one belt. Basically I need to do another belt. That's you know what? I think I wanna to, to give myself the ability to expand this twice. You know, maybe I maybe I do two extras of these. That way I just double exactly the rotors I have. You know what, I think I want to do that. Which means I want to build one more of these guys. I have to change the numbers I changed earlier, but... Future Rand will appreciate this. And if he doesn't, then what's wrong with him? There. There's going to be an extra 22.5 copper sheets a minute. I know I have the excess of that. So 117.5 is 22.5, 140. We're going to make this 140. And then that's going to make our rotors to be producing 11.25. 11.25 plus 33.75. Four, that'll just make it a nice even 45 a minute. And this is all because screw-wise, I want to get another Mark IV belt of screws going up here is why I want to do this. Okay. And so we're going to need get a screw belt that goes down to a splitter here. And then goes into here. Screw screws, I know, right? A little off topic, but funny thing that happens to your dad's car is that people keep getting used. People keep putting used car ads under the wipers. <laughs> it's like, you have a crap car. Would you like a new car? I have a fine car. All right, so I need to figure out where to bring these screws up. So this is going to be the fun part. And by fun, I mean terrifying. I don't think there's going to be any room anywhere here, but let's find out. Oh, okay, we have room on all three of these. That's lucky. Okay. But I agree, screw screws. But I only have one build that's actually using the screws right now, so that's why I'm continuing to use them. I think you said, Factoid, you uh, make builds with the goal to completely phase screws out. All right, so we can put them... So it looks like the correct place to go would be right... This one right here, I think. So now I need to figure out... Where I get a full Mark IV belt of screws for this. This guy is completely backed up. I thought I had only one other thing using screws. What else is using screws over here? I have to go so far up in my factory to figure it out. I need to figure out how many a minute this is using. Because I'm, it says I'm producing enough, but I don't... The, the flow rates of the screws are the, is the question mark. 
How come those didn't seem to be moving before? Okay, so this is four. What is this for? This reinforced heavy modular frames. Okay. 200. I'm using 400 a minute here. When this is fully, when it's not backed up. So pulling off of this. So 400 a minute from this guy. Let's see where this goes. 400 a minute. 400 a minute. 400 a minute from that. This isn't even a full... I have an... Oh, okay, that's an, that's an overflow going to the left. So that's 400 a minute from here. And how many are being created right here? So there's like an excess of 80 a minute here. Uh, an excess of 120 a minute here. Oh, man, how am I going to do this? You know what? I think the best way is actually going to be to pull from the overflow line of this entire build, which is ugh, not the greatest. Because I have overflow from all these other ones going down to my base. So what I think I want to do is change the overflow to a Mark IV belt. All of our overflow is on a Mark IV belt. There's a belt in here. Is it Mark IV already? I don't think it is. Come on, let me let me get access to that belt. I know there's a Mark something belt in there. Let me change it. There's a belt in there. Oh god. I see the belt. Let me upgrade it. Why won't you let me upgrade you? Look, I've got a flow rate problem somewhere. Maybe those elevators are Mark III. Yeah, you know what? They might be, but why can't I upgrade this belt? I swear I've upgraded belts in between these splitters this close together before. Anybody know a trick to this? How do I upgrade a belt that's in the middle of... Two splitters so close together. I, there's, there's got to be a way. I know I've done it before. Freaking frickly frack, man. I'll come back to that. Let me go make sure all these lifts are actually Mark IVs. Because you're right, that could be a problem. That's a Mark IV belt. That's a Mark III lift. That's a Mark III. For lift. That's the screws. That's a Mark IV lift. That's Mark IV. That's Mark IV. That's Mark IV. I almost think that the the one at the top might actually be only Mark III. That's Mark IV. That's Mark IV. I don't know why it's backed up. I guess it's just backed up because anytime we're not making it, it's not going to use them. Okay. Happens to you sometimes. Usually, just delete one if you can't. I think I'm going to have to do that. And where are the screws? That's a smart splitter. This is just, this is a merger. Okay, I'm gonna delete the merger. Which is gonna make for some funkiness. This is not the good way to do this, but Mark IV belt there. I'm gonna have Mark IV belts going here. Here. All right. And now what I'm going to do is any excess that's coming off of all of my stuff, I'm going to run a smart splitter off of. And it's going to go back to wherever I wanted to go. Up here. Whichever one of these I wanted to use. Which is probably... 
Let's go with that one. Okay. So center is overflow. Left is any undefined. Right is none. And judging by my numbers, this should be enough excess to do what we want to do. There. Okay. I should see screws going up there. Okay. So judging by this, I should have like a couple hundred extra screws, uh, surplus screws, so hopefully that is correct. This part of the building is kind of the most tedious to me, is trying to upgrade my past builds to keep up with a new build production speed, so. And, I mean, in games like this, there's gonna be some tedious things anyway, so. I don't know how I'd ever change that or make it less tedious. Overbuild by a lot every time, but I never know what I would need to overbuild for that. Alright, so this is the screws. And these are going... Yes! These are going over here. Okay, great. I need to change this, actually, as well. This needs to... So I can fit something through here eventually. I actually need to do this. That... This. Look at that. There we go. That should fix that. And then we do the same with this guy. Except you are... One, two. Bristol frames are coming along. They are. We're, uh, what, about halfway there? A little over halfway there. That's awesome. So, at least what we're doing is working. <laughs> That's a good sign. All right, so I need to bring these guys to... How do I want to have these go through here? Probably right there. Will this cleanly go underneath here without overlapping? Let's do it right here, and it will. Nice. Okay. Okay. And then this guy would line up right there. That should be nice, clean, and straight. Beautiful. That's a lot of screws. By the way, screw screws. That looks good. Goes through there. And you need, what is it, 195 a minute? Yeah, so Mark three built for that. Mark three and mark three. All right, and hopefully that will the flow of my screws will be good. I've never said that sentence before because it's a terrible sentence, but hopefully that will work with the screws we have. What is this? This is still 11.25 a minute, so that's a Mark 1 belt. Alright, so that is the rotor upgrade. Are both those guys going? 100%. 100%. Okay. Alright. So that is rotors. Um, and now I need them to go where they need to go. Did I already upgrade these numbers? I think I did. Uh, let me figure out where the rotors need to go, and then it'll be break time, I think. So let's go up to the very top floor. Okay. All right, where are these rotors going? They're going to smart plating, is that right? Yes. Five minute coming up here, so let's see where they're coming from. 
They can come from any of these places. Even right here if we need it to. Okay, so that would be not this guy. And any of these three. Okay. Any of these three guys. Just need to remember what floor the rotors are actually on. Okay. Um, that's steel floor, okay. Any of these guys. Modular frames. Okay, this is the floor right here. So I don't need these bottom ones. So it looks like we just want to take the far right one. It's the closest. And bring our rotors from... Probably this side will be best. Two mark three. And that is the correct direction. All right. These are going to have a long ways to go. All right. Where are your rotors? Over here. Now, I already have these going only one direction, so I think I'm going to have to do like I did on the other thing and split them off here. So, I hate to do a splitter off a splitter, but I think that's the correct way to do this. So, splitter. Off of this guy. Right in the middle. Uh, yes. There. And then... One, two... Uh, not that. But that one should be good. So that is one, two, three, four high. Right along here. One, two, three, four. And then somewhere along here. One, two, three, four. The middle one layout goes directly where you need them to go, isn't them? What? The middle one layout goes directly where you need them to go, isn't them? I do not understand that question. This right here, this smart splitter, the center is overflow going down to my storage. The thing off to the right is what actually goes further up into our factory. So I want to pull off of this for sending things further up into my factory. Uh, that should be Mark three. If that's what you're asking, I don't quite understand your sentence. <laughs> Fun factoid, haagen is supposed to be a Danish-sounding name, but was actually made by a Polish couple living in the Bronx. Cool. What a fun fact. Okay. I'm going to leave those there for now, because that'll be a good reference for if I ever need to move anything else over that far. Mark three. Mark three. And mark three. There we go. That'll flow those up there quicker. We're splitting where we need them to go. Yeah, you'll have to uh, clarify what you're actually talking about there, Factoid, because I'm uh, not, not Factoid. Uh, not, not, not tier, because I don't quite understand your question. Oh, I'm not getting my screws fast enough, and that's what I was worried about. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna help this. I'm just gonna help it right now, and hope it's a. Let me, let me follow this line back and make sure I have Mark IV belts everywhere I can. Cause yeah, this belt is not completely fully saturated. I need to make sure there are Mark IV belts everywhere. Mm. 
Mark IV, Mark IV. Yeah, this one is not fully saturated. That means what I was hoping would be enough is not enough. Although that looks fully saturated. Ah, no, it's not completely fully saturated. Not completely fully. I see why you want to just completely phase out screws, Factoid. I see. Yeah, we're taking every screw that's currently being overflowed, and it's... Ooh, it's backed up here? Uh, okay. This, uh, this, this configuration is bad. Overflow is going left. It's not right. Overflow should be go center. Is that right? No, overflow should be left. Why is this not happening? Any undefined? Oh, that's backed up. That's right. So this is actually none. So that just means from here, we're not getting enough. Just coming from this guy and the overflow from this. So it's a flow issue. It's a screw flow issue. Mm. All right, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let me just get my... Um, I'll, I'll potentially mess with that later. Frickin' screws, man. Frickin' screws. Let me just get my rotors done. Alright, so rotors. I have this one set up. Rotors need to go up. We're over there. Let me go check. I got those already. Seems like unless I have tier 5 uh... Unless I have tier 5 belts, and even then, maybe it wouldn't, uh, screws are just never going to flow as quickly as you need them to. I'm going to leave these here, because I might need that for something else. Am I? Uh, I'm not. This is the last item I need for this, so I'm going to just not do this. Get rid of those for now. Okay, so this will actually get... Oh, wait, no, I need to go up again? Yeah, I need to go up again. Okay. And this shows the reason why going forward is better, because if these were going to the left, they would overlap. Okay. Okay. This, one, two, one, two, there. This goes all the way across to one, two. This guy, this guy, splitter, and a mark one belt should be all I need. And hey, there we go, we got smart plating automated. Let me make sure these are running. Smart plating. Smart plating. That's a GG, Milka time. Even though the screws down below are not running like they need to, I might try to fix that later. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> if I feel like messing with screws. All right. We finally got smart plating, which is still only actually a prerequisite for modular engines. But rubber and motors should be easier to make happen. These guys are powered. Okay. So what I'm going to do, this time for first break, I'm going to make sure we have smart plating flowing. We have smart plating flowing. How much time should I use restroom? Take my first break of the day. If I feel like messing with screws. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, when we come back, we will try to get the actual modular engines going, which hopefully will be easier than these first builds were. 
But uh, quick stand-up stretch break, and when we come back, we'll work on that. Y'all rock. Be back in just a bit, my friends.